So first story of the day. Yep, we're going to talk about the federal judge blocking California's high capacity magazine ban for the second time. Uh, and this is fantastic because anytime we can make libs cry, it's a good day. Especially since when we look at something like California, they don't have specifically a right to keep and bear arms in their state constitution. Now, my good friend, Ms. Suzanne Sherman, I got to have her on so she can explain this. Uh, she says that since it's not even mentioned in the state constitution, the state lawmakers do not have a right to touch it or even discuss it because it's not within their purview. I like that view. I take a more uh, half glass, half empty approach that because it's not there, they kind of get to run roughshod. Mr. Greaves, good morning. Holding it down with my rumblers. Bring on Monday. That's right, brother. Good morning to you guys. So we have this federal judge blocks California high capacity magazine ban for a second time by the great A.R.W. Hawkins, or if you can read A.W.R. Hawkins at Breitbart.com. U.S. District Court Judge Roger Benitez has blocked California's ban on ammunition magazines holding more than 10 rounds on Friday. There's some really interesting things in this article, and we're going to get to them right now. It's the second time Benitez has issued a decision against this actual ban. On June 29, 2017, Breitbart News reported that Benitez blocked the law, blocked the ban to prevent, quote unquote, otherwise law abiding citizens from being criminalized. Because goodness gracious, why should you be criminalized for having a God given right or exercising your God given right to keep and bear arms? You have that right. Nobody has the right to take your life and you have the right to defend it in any way, shape or form possible. As long as you are in a life and death situation. Always a good caveat. Now, he noted that the ban takes away Second Amendment rights and, quote, amounts to the government taking people's private property without compensation, unquote. I do dig this guy's language. On Friday, Benitez issued a decision against the ban again by following the Bruin framework, which requires tradition to be on the side of the gun control in question. Meaning, hey, when this gun control did take place, uh, did they have background checks in 1791 when the second amendment was written uh was there any time beforehand in ye old little colonial town when they they said you must fill out ye 4473 or 4473th to get your gun no none of that existed so ergo you can't have it now k kqew quoted benitez noting quote there is no american tradition of limiting ammunition capacity now, some people have tried to, we have covered it in other stories where you had judges that were throwing themselves into knots, comparing different things, saying, oh, well, this thing was a, was only limited to 10 rounds. It was absolutely amazing. I forgot the judge, but she was she had at least an entire box of wine before she did that. Uh, so Benitez noted that, historically speaking, detachable magazines, quote, solved the problem with historic firearms running out of ammunition and having to slowly reload a gun. Now let's take a moment to go back to Oregon last Friday. What was the judge writing in that one? No, another good decision for the right to keep and bear arms. When he said, listen, man, cops and cops usually work in groups. They got rid of the revolvers and they went to high capacity magazines. So why shouldn't an individual by themselves without the benefit of being able to coordinate with other citizens not have access to the same amount of ammunition to defend themselves i like the language we're starting to see a pattern here form which is uh super great so benitez added there have been and will be times where many more than 10 rounds are needed to stop an attacker and we can use this um note and i think i got it from instructor mike he's on youtube he's fantastic he's out of illinois give him a follow he's on all the social medias i think he's fantastic uh, shot doesn't mean hit hit doesn't mean down down doesn't mean dead we've seen plenty of, of videos where police officers are emptying their magazines into people and they're not stopping why is this because not every round is penetrating b even if the rounds are penetrating if somebody's up on adrenaline or some other type of drug or if they are just bigger body mass or any of these other things the fire the, the bullet may not have the intended effect as quickly um, so the, the idea that you just need six rounds is ridiculous. Unless you're one of those 1911 guys, then, then you're going to be like, I'm good with it. I love you. 1911 guys. I do. You guys are fantastic. Um, you know, great design. 
Breitbart News noted that Gavin Newsom, D, who wants to be president, don't get it twisted. All of this stuff is designed to boost his presidential prospects because they're going to get rid of Joey B somehow. They're going to get rid of him in the next six months. They're going to get rid of him. Kamala's going to step aside. Maybe they put her on the Supreme Court. Maybe they do something to clear the way for Plastic Newsom. They have to have him. This is the guy that can he can whisper sweet nothing into the wine moms of America's ears, right? He's the plastic Ken doll that they all went to go see at the Barbie movie. Anyway, he had his little meltdown that California's high capacity magazine ban was just struck down by Judge Benitez, an extremist right wing zealot with no regard for human life. Now, remember, California is essentially the 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 new uh, <laughs> the, the the new um, land of child sacrifice right that's that's what it is the mayan culture got nothing on california and their ability to murder babies so this idea about having regard for human life is always just so um cute when they say that newsom continued saying our gun safety laws will continue to be thrown out by nra owned judges until we can pass a constitutional amendment to protect our kids and end gun violence epidemic in america just understand Five dollars on Michael. I got you, Greaves. Everybody likes Michael. Everybody likes Big Mike. Here's the problem with Big Mike, and I'll get a little political real, real quick. Big Mike is unlikable. He he. <laughs> Big Mike is an unlikable person, and no matter how much the legacy media tries to dress it up, Big Mike just re re uh, re re, uh, re ups or reinforces white women and uh, black single moms. So I don't know. Big Mike is a great, great choice, though. And everybody keeps saying it, but I don't see it. But I've been wrong before. Now, Newsom talks about NRA owned judges when they just created a seat at the White House table for every town. Just understand that. He's like, oh, NRA owned judges. They literally just created a seat in the White House for wine moms demand action in every town. And yet nobody calls this out. Because the, you don't hate the press enough. In conclusion to the decision, Benitez wrote, quote, one government solution to a few mad men with guns is a law that makes into criminals responsible law-abiding people wanting larger magazines simply to protect themselves. The history and tradition of the Second Amendment clearly supports state laws against the use or misuse of firearms with unlawful intent. Yes, if you commit a crime with a firearm, you should be charged with it. If you show that you cannot be a responsible citizen with a firearm, you should lose that privilege. I don't think anybody disagrees with that. But not disarmament of law-abiding citizens. Huge difference. If you're an idiot and you mess around with a gun, or if you take a firearm and you take a human life, you lose that right, you go to jail. But just because that person does that, like in Michigan, you had the one guy who, despite being uh, charged with a felony, was bumped down to a misdemeanor. Then he created a crime on the campus of Michigan State. Now, nobody on Michigan State's campus can carry. That's not the solution, as Benitez is saying. And Benitez is saying that kind of solution is an infringement on the constitutional right of citizens to keep and bear arms. I agree. The decision Benitez handed down was already appealed to the U.S. Circuit Court for the Ninth Circuit. Now, remember, the Ninth Circuit is also in play here because of what's going on in Hawaii with the butterfly knife law. Interesting to see at the butterfly knife law, which we covered on Friday uh, and the fact that that could blow up this whole thing. And that's why it's, it's very interesting time right now for the right to keep and bear arms in the post Bruin landscape. It's actually great because uh, liberals are coping and seething. And, and I just, I just generally enjoy that.